a very, very warm welcome to all of you assembled here this fine monsoon evening. I'm Anjali Bapat. And I'm Anushri Menon. And we will be your anchors for today. We are truly privileged to have you here at our 10th Founders Day celebrations. Many of you have taken time out of your busy routines to be here with us. You have braved rains, traffic jams, and work deadlines just to be here. But let me tell you, your efforts will not be in vain. You shall be witness to the boundless creative spirit of our young Orcadians. Organizing and putting together a show of this magnitude is no mean task. There are 150 performers on stage, 50 behind the scenes. It is wonderful to see how each child has contributed towards something much larger than the sum of their parts. And at the altar of their alma mater, they offer the fruits of their labor, Kalanjali. Over the years, children have figured out where their talents lie. And so today, we shall see those who have really excelled in their chosen art forms upon stage. As all of our students have been exposed to the fine arts, every child, whether on or off stage, can truly appreciate them. After all, appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what's excellent in others belong to us as well. Before we move on to Kalanjali, there is an important ritual that we must perform. Out of 52 of our students who appeared for their CBSE exams in March 2014, 11 scored a, 10, a CGPA of 10. And what could be... Yes, it's really a proud moment for us. And what could be a more auspicious time than today to felicitate them? I request Lakshmi Di and Shilpa Di to come on stage and give away the Academic Achievers Awards to these deserving students. I also request the following students to please come on stage. Shantanu Kapole. Ayushi Mishra. Ishita Govardhan. Karunya Bhaskar. Shriya Date. Lavisha Khandelwal, Manali Shukla, Pranoti Vahulke, Sanika Sumuni, Aditya Chinsune, and Ishani Kulkarni. Can we please have a round of applause? Thank you, Lakshmi Di. Thank you, Shilpa Di. And thank you, students. Uh, I'll request Lakshmi Di to take, the, take over the mic now. Um, we have a surprise element. As you all know, through the calendar, through the circulars, through all the happenings, that this year is dedicated to all our role models and the role models walk from uh, come from all walks of life and we have taken this 10th year as a campaign for saying thank you for our role models uh, we will elaborate more into this uh, sentiment but just you know every time we talk about any social ill happening uh, 
you know, typical conversations and debates and media discussion is about how we don't have good role models for our young children. While that's definitely one element and one aspect of the reality, the other aspect is we have zillions of fantastic role models in our own space and around us and around the globe. I think it's important for us as adults to point out our children and say, look at this person and his or her journey. And they have made this journey despite all the odds. And I think that's the message that we want to give to the students. And hence, we explored this whole year and we put some of the faces to these role models who also embodied our vision statement as the locally rooted and globally competent citizen. And uh, today, we want to start this campaign by formally honoring one of our very, very own proud grandparent of the school, Dr. Raghunath Mashalkar. I'm not going to talk about facts about this person because it's available on the Google. You just have to type and you have pages and pages. Wikipedia has many such uh, you know, the facts, so to say. So why is he our role model? Any guess? Anyone from the audience? Why is he our role model for our students? Okay, he was one of the best students. Yes, yes. And he never slipped being the best. But I think he really took the India map on the innovation uh, pinnacle. He fought for the rights of Indian innovators.